Hi Aries, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your weekly love tarot messages. We're going to take a look and see what the cards predict for you for the upcoming week. It is going to be um, a general reading guys, so keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay guys, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so interesting. Wow, you've got a lot of earthly energy. Some of you may be romantically involved with an earth sign here, okay? There's a lot of uh, strong earth energy that's coming in. So you could be involved with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, or otherwise I feel like the cards here are indicating that this week is going to bring a lot of clarifying energy and a lot of clarifying messages, especially with regards to your relationship se sector. Now, Aries in, in particular is very picky when it comes to, um, you know, when it comes to um, waiting for the right one, dating the right one. You guys can be extremely picky and good on you. You shouldn't lower your standards for anyone, right? And for some of you, it feels like you have been, you kind of been holding out. It feels like you've been holding out for the right one, even though you may not have met him or her yet, but you just know, right? Um, some of you, you might... Um, you might have your eyes set on someone and it's been a bit of a slow burn in that regards. For others of you, maybe you're spending some time right now on your own to be intentional, intentionally single because you are holding out. You're holding out, you know, you just don't want to dive into any relationship. You want to take your time here. You want to make sure that, you know, the next one is going to be the right one. And let me tell you, whatever it is that you're waiting, it feels like it's wa worth waiting for. So... The cards here do indicate that there is going to be a lot of changes. Um, a lot of changes for you, not, necess not necessarily this week alone, but I think that I'm seeing that a lot of things that you have been doing are going to start paying off in a very big and positive way. So for instance, if you have been holding out, if you've, you know, if you've been holding out and if you haven't been necessarily rushing through relationships and you've been taking your time, I can definitely see that it's building to something. It's, or even if you've been in a relationship and you've just been sort of, you know, wanting to go things um, at a pace that feels natural and comfortable to you, it feels like you're moving towards something that's very long term, something that's very stable, very secure, very trusting. Uh, I feel like... And even for those of you that have been spending time on your own, you know, um, not necessarily, even if you feel like you, you, not that you didn't want to put yourself out there, but even if you felt like um, you weren't just ready or you just kind of wanted to spend some time just getting to know yourself a little bit more, that's paying off because the next time you're going to find yourself in a relationship or the next person that you're going to attract into your life, it feels like this is going, you're going to be introducing them, you know, a part of yourself that maybe you've just recently acquainted with. So it's all paying off. And in that time as well, I see that maybe you've been, um, you know, getting to know yourself more, but also showing yourself a lot more self-love and self-care and respect in the process. So um, I do feel like there's a lot of newness coming into your life and it may not necessarily happen this week but I do think there's been a lot of things you've been planting seeds for for quite some time now and some of you may have been a little bit frustrated because you know naturally these seeds don't sprout overnight so whatever work you've been putting into yourself or into a relationship it is paying off okay so do expect to see a lot of positive changes do expect for things to just happen very organically very organically and the other thing is, I feel like some of you are stepping away maybe from preconceived notions that you've had, I don't know, of yourself or of relationships here. Um, I also see that 
if you are single, the universe is going to be introducing you to someone um, very special soon. And it feels like this person and this connection is going to have a lot of long-term potential, okay? So this isn't someone who wants something casual or fleeting. This is someone you're going to want to invest the time into this connection, into getting to know one another. For others of you, if you've been in a relationship here, and if you feel like, you know, it's been a lot of work, um, it's paying off. It feels like you guys have, you know, invested a lot into the relationship and a lot into the connection. And I feel like, you know, there's going to be a lot of progression or there is going to be something feels like it's paying off for you. Okay. And that payoff is going to be different for everyone. For some of you, the payoff could be that your relationship might be elevating to the next level. For others of you, it might mean that you're ready to take the next step in your commitment or that you're ready to take a commitment, right? So, you know, you're going to have to personalize it to suit your narrative, but there is a big payoff that's coming in for you. Um, and in return, I feel like you're ready. You're ready for this payoff because there's something here you've been putting a lot of energy into. The other thing that I see for you here is this week... Um, the Six of Cups has come up a lot, and I think this it's something to do with the past. Some of you may still be holding on to, um, I don't know, like a, a former version of yourself, or maybe you're holding on to a love that maybe is no longer required, like require, required. Uh, I feel like this, it's something you're holding on to. It could be a habit that isn't serving you personally. Um, it could be something from the past, whether it's a friendship that's um, outgrown or a relationship that's just dissolved you have to you kind of have to shed what whoever or whatever this is because you holding on to that very thing or that very person is kind of stopping you in a way it's preventing some of these blessings from coming your way because it's kind of taking up room and space in your life or in your energy do you get it it's like for instance you know if you keep thinking about an ex and maybe you want to, I don't know, maybe you want to reconnect with this person, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out. And maybe it's still, there may still be a, a destiny or a chance there. You have to do, you won't know, you might have to reach out and reconnect with them and see if you can reconcile. Or otherwise, you're going to have to let them go and let them be. Um, for some of you, you might be holding on to someone but it's not that you're hoping to reconcile with them. Maybe there's an anger or a hurt behind behind that holding on. And because you're still fixated on this person, okay? And maybe you no longer love this person. Um, but your energy, you're giving it time, your time and your energy and your attention to it. That you're then not focusing on, you know, what's happening in front of you or what's happening for the future. So... You're kind of blocking your own blessings, I guess, in some way. So even if you feel like your rewards haven't been coming in, maybe that's due to the fact that you haven't created enough room in your life for them to come in just yet. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.